This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Today we have a little bit of a budget Les Paul single cut kind of comparison. Um, as I'm sure you know, if you're a regular viewer, I recently took delivery of this guitar. This is a Harley Benton SC552 in Desert Flame Burst. And... Um, Basically, I bought that guitar to do a review on, and basically the way I do these kind of things is I buy the guitar, and then I do like a bunch of videos with it, uh, get a bit of revenue from those videos, sell the guitar on, and maybe for a little bit less than I paid for it, but by the time I factor in the revenue I've made from the videos, then I'm either breaking even or hopefully making a little bit of a profit. That's kind of how I work. Um... But I was so impressed with that one, I decided to keep it. <laughs> that's not going anywhere. So that's one of the guitars we're looking at today. The other one is this. This belongs to a student of mine, a chap called Michael, who very generously uh, agreed to loan me it to do the video. What is it? It is the Vintage V100 in gloss black with, um, you can probably see there, gold hardware. Uh, so let's have a little bit of a look at what these guitars cost. Uh, you can see the Vintage V100 reissued electric guitar in gloss black costs um, a princely sum of 449 quid. Uh, whereas the Harley Benton, uh, there it is, costs 235. It's actually gone down in price since I, uh, since I bought it. So there you go. Um, so that's, uh, what the prices we're in at. And we're going to talk a little bit about, um, you know, how the guitars are set up and what they feel like to play and everything, uh, later on in the video. But first of all, thought it would be interesting to hear how they sound. You're going to hear uh, three sound clips from each guitar. Um, a clean selection of tones, or clean bit of clean tone um, on the middle pickup setting, um, a bit of a crunchy overdrive tone on the bridge pickup, and something a little bit more high gain sounding coming from the neck pickup. So, here's what they sound like.
So there you go. Uh, what do you think? Um, to my ears, the vintage has a much beefier output. Um, and y you know that um, kind of thing where they say that um, a, a Les Paul style guitar is uh, a bit like a Telecaster on steroids? Well, I think you can definitely say that about this one, but not so much about this one. This one is much more comfortable when you uh, turn the gain up quite significantly and, um, you know, just kind of give it some welly, basically. Um, another thing that is an important thing for me when I'm trying a guitar is... Um, the volume control on the guitar. On some guitars, it may as well just be painted on for all the use it is. I like to be able to clean up the sound uh, using the volume control so I can essentially go from a clean to dirty sound without going anywhere near a foot switch. So once again, um, let's put both guitars under the microscope and see how well uh, the bridge pickup cleans up uh, when played through a moderately distorted sort of plexi amp model. Um, you know, let's see how it cleans up using the volume control. Here we go. <laughs> So I would definitely hand that round to the Harley Benton. Um, you know, that's a, a very usable clean tone when you dial back the guitar's volume. On the vintage, it just sounded a bit muddy to my ears. I mean, it's easily enough fixed. You know, just put um, a couple of treble bleeds on the volume controls. And that, to me, is, it seems a shame that, that that hasn't been done at the factory because, you know, a capacitor and a resistor uh, on the volume control, so two volume controls, two capacitors, two resistors, you're talking pennies worth of components, and it wouldn't have impacted significantly or at all on the, uh, the, the, the street price of the guitar, and yet they didn't do it. Just seems a bit of an omission to me, but then, there you go. Um, in conclusion about the sounds of the guitars, um, I would say that if you are wanting something that um, is as happy on your clean channel as it is on your overdrive channel on your amp or you know with, with both of those kind of sounds and can as you heard uh, turn a moderately crunchy overdriven sound into a clean sound just by you know rolling the volume control around a bit then this is probably the guitar for you it's cheaper than the vintage and you know it does the uh, the clean and dirty thing as well it's i would say this is a more versatile instrument however if you want something that has a significantly beefier output the, you know the kind of overdriven tone that will frankly stop a tank at 40 paces and as far as you're concerned you know a clean channel is for wimps then this might be the one you want to check out both guitars are impeccably set up um, all I had to do with the uh, the Harley Benton when it arrived was just lower the bridge a tiny fraction just to get the action down um, to you know what what I consider to be my kind of comfort zone. But when it arrived, it was by no means um, you know ridiculously high action, unlike another um, single cut Les Paul that uh, that I had in for review lately. <coughs> um, so there you go. That is, um, you know, the, the, the guitars are both beautifully set up, um, low action. Neck profile, um, very similar on both guitars, actually. Marginally slimmer on the uh, the Harley Benton. Um, think sort of 60s, early 60s Gibson, something like that. And um, whilst the vintage is a little bit chunkier, 
it's by no means kind of baseball bat, um, you know, kind of um, dimensions. It's a, it's a comfortable neck. I, either of these guitars, I can't imagine anyone picking up the guitar and thinking, my dearie me, that neck is uh, uh, is going to cause me some problems. It's They're both very, very comfortable guitars to play and both admirably well set up. Um so there you go. Uh, I'll link to the uh, the specs for both guitars down in the description, but I'm sure you probably already know what's going on here. It's mahogany, it's maple, it's set neck, it's humbuckers, etc., etc. Um, you know, no big surprises there, but uh, as I say, I'll put the specs down in the description should you want to check them out further. And that's pretty much it for today, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the video and found it uh, reasonably informative and entertaining. And if you have, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not give me a like while you're at it? Don't forget the live stream tomorrow, Friday, 5pm UK time, where we drink beer, we talk music, we talk guitars. What's not to like? It's a fantastic way to kick off the weekend, and I would love to see you there if you can make it. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now